Welcome back everyone to Red World Femme for coming host, as you probably know by now. American Mocha Lover. But right now, it is July 15th, 2016. What a weird year that was. But here are the casualties. We've lost quite a few guys. But we've killed off quite a few as well. So, got out a couple comms to go through. As you can see, I we've got you know a fairly decent task force, I'd say. We've also got another army here, just kind of training in reserve, and kind of in the back down here. We're just kind of hanging out. So I separated my armies. I eventually threw all my armies to one side because they had a pretty big invasion for us. That's how we saw all those casualties. I kind of spread them out, and actually, I put you guys, these these guys, Stephen R. Lyons, over here to train because, well, see, they're not looking too good over there in the uh, Union of American People's Republics. Under Angela Davis, they killed off all their manpower. And Arizona is making a comeback with over 200,000 men, most likely. But we're currently doing a greater dream. The Greater American Union must aspire for greatness. We can get ourselves back on the world stage by reactivating the old American nuclear weapons. Our neighbors will fear the revolution only after nuclear rearmament. Nice. And we'll get a 10% bonus to nuclear stuff? Okay, well, whatever. Whatever. Also, I did I did do finish these ones off screen Operation Emancipation, as well as Looming Desert Storm. And they'd have little, like, little event things, but they weren't anything too. too. Uh, too important, really, so. But I do want to go kill them off. Operation Coastal Menace. The aptly named Operation Coastal Menace is the Council's plan to wipe out the Stalinists on the West Coast and push Soviet influence off this continent one for all. Our final struggle for American reunification will be hard, but our superiors shall triumph over our over over Russian interference and political support. And we just finish up Coastal Dream. Nice couple comments. Um, someone said the guys keep, might keep invading just because they have a base in Bermuda. The British do, which really sucks for us, as well as the French base south of Newfoundland, right there. Oh no, that's actually the European Union says. Okay, so Italy actually united the. European Union, so. This is Italian-led. By Fausto Bertinotti, so. You need to get some hair on top of there, man. But, they're a bunch of commies. And then they have a bunch of commies over here under Zuganov. So, this is actually extremely strong, especially with uh, Britain in there, too. But, hey, look at this. They have the Middle East Protection League. Look how happy this guy looks. He looks like, he's like, oh, maybe not too happy, but he's kind of smug. You know, he's like, yeah, this could be bad, but at least we're not dead yet, so. But if you like to read about him, please go right ahead. He's a national conservative. So now, with that, I do want to just kill these guys off, because look at how weak they are. Even Arizona's beating back California. Go to, go to, go, 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 Arizona. A couple of comments, so including that, like we said earlier about the islands. Um, hover over the save button to see equipment when you're making new divisions, or uh, manipulating division templates, I should really say. So, okay, maybe I'll try that next time, so when we actually make some bigger divisions. Oh, hello. 2016 Summer Olympics. Um, Okay. The following American government won the competition to host the 2016 games in Miami. Ah, uh, okay. Well, gosh dang it. I'll try to make some garrisons here, too, so. And I have you guys here, too, just to do this as well. Um, the more they try to come and invade, the, the, the better we can do it. And these guys are only 10 combo with. I think with, like, a bunch of support companies on them, as we saw last time. 10 combo with artillery, engineers, uh, anti-air. I know it costs extra equipment to use them, but... Especially, I, I like, especially like the, um... Man, I, I apologize for one of my unfocused pronunciations. I like the engineer's support. It's just so useful. But, Operation Coastal Menace. Finally, Operation Coastal Menace will allow us to vanquish the Soviet threat from the American continent once and for all. While this may be the most difficult and extensively planned invasion, top military leaders from around the country are confirmed that it will be indeed be successful. Bernard Sanders, bless his soul, has reportedly expressed sent excitement upon announcing to fellow senior members of the government that this nation's first or final mayor major war is imminent. Soon we shall have total peace and tranquility, and all those who oppose us will think twice before moving into our sacred lands. Okay. Down with the kingmakers, my friends. Through us history, establishment figures have been pulling strings and manipulating both domestic and foreign events. It's time to expose these figures for what they are and bring them down once and for all. But you only get point one, what, point one stability, which is kind of weird, but... Oh, point five stability, which is still kind of weird, but whatever. I think we should still be able to do okay here without, you know, extra support, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh. Are you actually suffering from a... Tr oh. Oh, is there a lot of resistance? Oh my goodness. Wait, no garrison. What? Hello? What do you mean no garrison here? Wait, we don't believe in... Oh. Oh, I switched it to the other one when we were still democratic, and it must have went with no garrison. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. That is so bad. Point eight. Okay, so if that's the case, let's pull you back out, and then... I didn't realize that. Oh my goodness. Screw it. Who needs intelligence when you can do this? Just kill all the, all the resistance. I did not realize that. That is something good to know. I, I don't think I've ever did that before in uh, any of my other campaigns before either. Apparently, if you have one, like, no, occupation law, and then you switch it around, um, or it gets auto-switched, it's not very good for you. 
Who knew? Alright, these guys should die pretty soon. These guys have to be artillery only, right? They're literally mostly artillery with a few with a few infantry brigades. Or battalions, really, but... Goodbye! It's weird that they came over here, but they're not... They, they, do, they do have supplies! And that's... That's 19 divisions! Wow! Wow! Just force the attack, man. Portable radios are nice. Oh, do we get another thing done here? Yes, we did! Oh, we like supporting local farmers. The farmers are the backbone of America. Their forefathers have developed the land in which we all live today, and they should be politically and financially supported in these troubled times. Absolutely. The, um, they can't... Okay, goodbye. Well, they died. Oh, African Freedom Pact. Nice. I love Ethiopia. And we've killed off quite a few... Obviously not enough, but still. Yeah, I didn't realize that, so that's my fault completely. Oh, my goodness. It's barely going down to advanced software. is nice. 2016, let's grab some of that, too. And what are we building up? Some more... Ooh. Refiners are very good to grab as well. But mostly for the rubber. Even though we could be using rubber, but we could still use oil no matter what. Hmm. Hmm. See if they're still nice, though. It's alright. Carrier primacy. Good. Keep doing a lot of uh, naval stuff, because we're going to need it. One, two, three. It's very nice to meet. Oh! African freedom. Ooh. Do we support African freedom? Infrastructure. Few wages. How about do we get a join up do we get our own faction eventually? Faction. Um League of American Nations. A Democratic America. Oh uh, I don't know if We can host a government in exile, and we should become a major power if we do that, right? So you know what, screw it. There we go. Yep, we're considered a great a major, so even if we if they if they, if they all die. We'll still be okay. So, not too bad. Not too bad. I just didn't realize this at all. So much resistance down there. Oh, oh, they finally lost. Okay. Let's go. Just go to war, anyways. Can you guys do well at all? Like, maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely in some areas. Yes. Were they? Are they doing left stand? They must have done it earlier or something. That's really, really bad. Holy crud. Well, obviously, we're not going to win everywhere, but that's okay. Um, sure, guys. There's still a lot of manpower, so that's the most important thing to capitalize on early on. If they got no manpower, that's just super bueno for us. And you know what? If we move faster out of here, that means we won't get less supply issues, so I'm hoping for that. Oh, crap. New England again. Look at all those convoys. 14. Same come. Before they land. Actually, we got two divisions there. Nice. Oh, my goodness. And I said I would make some gears and stuff up here, and obviously I did, but obviously not enough yet. Oh, we do have 22 divisions. That's actually kind of nice. And they are doing all the Coast Guard lines and victory points eventually. Yeah, that's not too bad, not too bad. I mean, obviously, these guys will be able to do everything by themselves eventually, which is fine. What is that? No, do, huh? All right, then. We do have quite a few guards already, which is nuts. I don't really want to mess it up too much, so we'll see what happens. Uh, resistance is so, so bad. How about over here? Resistance is... Oh, resistance is god-awful for them as well. Oh, my goodness, this is so bad. That's okay. Up here, not too great, but okay. We're starting to lose quite a bit, which sucks. Okay, then. Let's go some divisions there, too. We've lost how many against these guys? 40,000. We've killed off roughly double, so that's not too bad, I'd say. There you go. Nice job, guys. Nice job. The center part of this is not too bad to take out. Other parts of this, very, very bad. Why don't we just force the attack? Hmm. Probably not. Yeah, this is probably really inefficient. I apologize for my inefficiencies, but I think we're doing okay. We're doing okay-ish. Hey, another carrier. Nice. Well, you're still over here, so go and do that, and go and do that too. And then we shall, after supporting our local farmers, Operation Yellow Sun. Named after the rays of sunlight on Arizona's flag, Operation Yellow Sun involves a swift occupation of the state's heartland. Having Phoenix under our control puts us in a position to seriously threaten Mexico and the so-called UAPR. That's kind of already too late for that, but whatever. No, we're not really winning here. We're doing it relatively okay. Especially if they have no man. Or oh, never mind. They got manpower back. But we're still pushing in quite quite well, actually. I will say so. That. I will say that. Even though not great. Uh, how many divisions they've left? Up to 38. Uh, can really use air superiority, though. How many guns do they have or not have? Army training? Well, we don't know since I'm trying to put down resistance down here, too. 
76 ain't too bad. My gosh, it's so bad down here. Operation Yellow Sun, though. Named after the rays of yellow bursting out of the star on the Arizona slug, Operation Yellow Sun is the next stage in Bernie Sanders' plan for rapid American reunification. The plan is focused around swift occupation of border regions and subsequent invasion forces destined for Phoenix. However, the specifics of the actual invasion plan are more than likely set to change once forces are lined up along the border of Arizona, and Bernie Sanders declares commitment to war with a small but united nation. Nice. Operation Northern Lights? Oh, for Alaska, that's really actually pretty good to do. Let's go and do enforced production quotas. According to Sanders' theory, the U.S. lost the Cold War because it became lazy after World War II. Enforcing strict production quotas will prevent our military industrial complex from suffering from this laziness and put our citizens to work. Nice. And then, military industrial revival. Chomsky's prioritization of civilian industry weakened the military capacity of the Commonwealth in the long run. We should revive the U.S. military industrial complex to make Sanders' revolution viable and repel foreign attackers, which quite literally is what we need right now. As you can see from uh, the area close to Washington. Or Baltimore, really. Oh, they're taking taken care of. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. You're doing, you're doing great. Anywhere else? Rocky Mountains? No, we're still doing okay here. Not great. They're slowly getting more and more supplies back, which is not good for us, but still. Hopefully, this guy here is learning a lot. Infantry leader is very good. We're still pushing in, though, so... That is something to be said. Artillery is nice. Get some more anti-air. Oh, God. We're already out of artillery again. And guns. All right. So maybe we'll hang out first. Let's hang out. Let them attack us. Let us consolidate our holdings for now. Carrier task forces are nice. Keep going with the good stuff. Good, 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 good stuff. So instead of you there... I'll put down resistance all over the place here, maybe. Unless you already are, maybe. Cool. Let's grab that one next, too. So up to here in Africa. Oh, so it's not us. They're invading down there, huh? Well, they're very divided around there, but whatever. African Freedom Pact. I love America. Um, are they sh shifting their lines around or something? Huh. This is a bit odd to see, but okay. Provo. Nice. We'll be just be smarter throughout this. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll be smarter throughout. Oh my gosh. The Supreme Leader is dead. Tragic news arrives from the Capitol tonight. At 8.14, the Supreme Leader Bernie Sanders suffered a heart attack just before a much anticipated meeting with foreign delegates from Africa. Our aging head of state was taken to a hospital to undisclose anyone outside his inner circle, where our last attempt was made to bring him into recovery. To the great sorrow of America's people, Sanders did not leave the hospital alive, falling into a blissful eternal sleep surrounded by his most loyal advisors. The National People's Council was almost immediately informed of his death, with members already calling for an immediate party congress to appoint a successor to the Supreme Leader. But some factions were already attempting to wrangle control over the country in an attempt to overthrow the socialist party as we know it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, no, 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 there's... Oh, God. Please don't let us fall into civil war right now. Um, Operation Northern Lights? While Alaska is an afterthought in our struggle for American reunification, it is a symbolically important state. Taking Alaska itself might be easy, but we need to prepare for possible Canadian interference. This is really bad. Why is resistance so bad here? Actually, it's not bad here at all. Up here, Montana is just god-awful. Hmm. I don't like all this resistance decay stuff, man. I really don't. But shock and all is nice. Cool, so that's done. That's good. Support companies, 2016, get some more better engineers. That'd be very nice. Um, yeah, just... I think we just gotta wait to pull this stuff down. Yeah, we're getting more compliance, which is good, but still. We're still looking good. Still looking quite good, I would say. Operation Northern Lights. It seeks to obliterate Alaska within a month, but already some military leaders have expressed concerns about the feasibility of such a small time frame. National People's Council doesn't seem to care whether the invasion takes a month, two, or more, as long as there are minimal losses, and in the end, Alaska is taken care of for good. Northern Alaska will be one of the last wars for American reunification, so our soldiers are ensuring they will personally make it count. And then crush Mexico? The treacherous Mexicans showed their true colors years ago when they annexed parts of the Rio Grande region in New Mexico after the collapse. We must crush them once and for all for the sake of reclaiming the lost lands to us. No, but not saying is why. Why did you have to leave us, man? Gotta take care of your health, man. Gotta take care of your health. Yeah, since we're in the field already. Oh, we need logistics companies too. Even though the supplies are just... I don't like this in the game. They're just 30% attrition because of this stuff. That wasn't even our fault. Like, 
You should be able to put down resistance faster than this if you commit to it. You really should be able to. Let's see if we can. Let's see. Civilian oversight. Um, all this does is just anger people. Was martial law? Well, that hurt. That hurts. I don't want to hurt compliance though. I don't know. The whole resistance compliance thing. I don't. I don't, I don't know if I really like it the way it currently is. It seems. Hmm. I don't know. It's just not. I don't know if it's just there yet. It's close. But not there yet. So we're not looking too bad around here. We just gotta get more guns. So, let's make some more guns then. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah, keep doing that one. It's fine. And then, good. We got that one done. Let's go ahead and do this part of Michigan. Oh, we all need a lot of guns. Screw it. We don't need to make any more of these guys then. Or let's make very few of them. We can make like one. We'll, we'll be okay for whatever we need. So, that's looking a lot better already. 71, 72. Wait, why did it drop down some more? Why is it dropping down? We have enough steel for this. 125 guns a day is not bad. We'll quickly get through the deficit that we have here, so that won't be too bad. In the meantime, let's go ahead and build up some radar, because that'll be very, very important here. At least get level 1 bases around here, and go ahead and grab some stuff here too, so that'll be nice. In the meantime, ships are looking very nice. I'm kind of disappointed that they're not attacking anymore. I honestly am. It sucks. I kind of liked it when they were invading us. Oh, we have another ship. Very nice. There we go. They keep invading sub Saharan Africa, but invade Canada? The Democratic League on the northern border poses a threat to our national security, and our top st strategists anticipate that they will involve themselves in American affairs soon. Under the false pretext of restoring democracy, with a swift pre uh, preventive strike, we will thwart them from carrying out their plans. This seems a little bug right now, but whatever. Yugoslavia still exists, huh? Man, all right, so I wonder if we can attack any rocks. They're looking very strong, though, which is obviously not very good. All right, so we got some fighters. Fighters are good to have, right? Let's grab some drones or casts. Oh, got some, oh, that's not bad. UCAV, naval UCAV. Do we not have any casts yet? No, we don't. God dang it. We don't have that many fighters, honestly. Oh, there's some stuff up there, too, though. Look at that. What are you guys doing up here? Um, cast fighters. Why are you so large? I wonder, wonder we're not winning this battle down here. Nice anti-air. Do a lot of air battles. That'll be good. And yep, happy 2017, everyone. We've sure been here for a while, huh? Engineers are nice. We could grab better guns. Let's grab that one first. 1v1, we're not going to win there. That sucks. Um, yeah, just build ourselves up for now. That'll be fine. They love Africa. There you go. Give them a lot of support and grab some of that too. So again, wise we should be doing worse? How are we doing worse? 57, 64. This is looking better, if not worse. And why are these guys not attacking at all? I don't understand, man. I don't think these guys could do very much, can they? Eh, they might still be able to take them. We're still at 40 combo with, even though we're lacking quite a few things here. Oh, don't tell me they're doing... Huh. Oh, wow, they're dropping fast. We cut off a guitar quarter of the division. Nice. Mexico doesn't like that we want our territory back. That's too bad. We're going to get it. Good. After inviting Canada, we'll probably invade the Caribbean. Well, the nations in the Caribbean have been a thorn in America's side from the very beginning. It's time to assert our natural hegemony over these islands and solidify our control over the region. Let's we get it. We're going all of them, which is nice. So this is what we're going to have to do. Slowly, 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 slowly take out each and every single individual tile here, which is fine with me, so we don't have to lose too many guns at a time. You only kill 10% of them, huh? That ain't enough. That's over river, which is pretty bad as well, but whatever. But you guys are not. Hell and it will be ours. Nice. Actually, I don't get these guys here. Then go over here and then circle that and destroy that division too. What are we missing? Infantry, support equipment. God dang it. That makes sense, I guess. Caribbean time. 
That's okay. So go down to one. We have enough of that stuff for now. So, all right, you guys, head take take one of you guys, head on down that way, and one v one you're gonna lose, but four v one, four v two, I guess technically, you should do relatively okay, but I guess not, huh? Don't lose, guys. Don't lose. Better not here. Wow, you guys suck. Oh man, I hate fighting in the mountains here. It sucks so much. I'm surprised, even though know, they technically have more divisions than us, they're still not attacking. Hmm. Hmm. You'd hope 40s would do a good job for you, but you never know. You never know. Oh! You know, I'm so used to trying to invade Sub Saharan Africa, but whatever. I understand we're not seeking the convoys. We have enough ships around here, right? I mean, he's doing a great job. He's learning a lot. We've got a lot of medals for this guy, so I'm feeling pretty good about him. But he's not finding any convoys, which kind of sucks. Michael Flynn. Doing okay. Not great, but okay. Oh, now they're starting to attack us. Nice. Yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. I was wondering when they're going to attack us. I got distracted by the East Coast to the point where they started attacking us. Great. Kill them all off. No, that's nice. Oh, we've lost a lot of guys. But against the Californian folk, which is just West Coast, 106,000. Not bad. Not bad. Yes, keep going. Keep trying it out, you which is a garbage. Becoming an organizer, becoming an infantry leader, becoming a mountaineer. I love it, and a skilled staffer. He's not very good with logistics, is he? Or supply? No, not really. Powered exoskeletons? Yes, get the next level. I want Fallout in real life. Just don't nuke me. Not too hard. Maybe a little radiation, but not too much. Not bad. Planes, how are they doing? Oh, we have air superiority now. Look at that. They do have some drones, and they must not be making any more planes, because we keep dropping their number. Now, our number keeps dropping, too. But it looks like it's dropping quite a bit more than ours, maybe? Maybe? And we do have 44 coastal garrison guards, so that's actually not too bad, either. Look at that. Nice. We got a lot of air XP, too. Not bad. So much manpower do they have? Reno would be nice to have, but... Uh, they have, oh my goodness, they have a lot of population. It's alright. Oh, another carrier. Don't mind if we do. They already have two, so I guess you guys can go right there. Invade the Caribbean. Future anti-air. Nice. And infantry. Grab some of that too. Oh, we get to choose. The Dictator Rots. National Bolshevism. President General Robinson. Pastor Phelps. Madam Welch. State funerals for Sanders. Oh, I don't know. Oh my goodness, I don't know who I want to win. The Center National Socialist, Sam Webb. I read the Cult of Personality, True Socialist Economics, Adopt Internationalism. Restore Trade Unions. Citizen Elites, Break Out of Isolation. Not bad. Loyalists, Unprecedented Stability, Military Loyalty, New Economic Plan. Well, that says this one, we gotta give her the Power Struggle, Power Struggle. Power struggle. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter who we are. We're current ruling party is National Bolshevik to go down this way, though. So we have to keep going that way. So I guess State Funeral for Sanders then. A nation mourns. Politicians are in shock. America's most popular head of state needs a proper funeral that matches his legacy. I'd love to come back and do all this stuff, but, like, I don't know if this is really possible for us. Like, I want to make sure that we actually get through this part of the focus tree, too, though. Oh, so much I want to do, man. So much. But, yeah, they keep attacking us. I like this. Ah, oh, you have upgrades? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, they became infantry leaders for more 10% 10, 10 more defense. Very nice. We're just missing rubber, that's all. And guns. Well, we already know about the gun issue. Artillery is really bad, too, huh? Fighters aren't looking good either. Uh, we're not going to take that up for offer yet. So let's go instead do this. No. We're going to go ahead and instead do artillery. No naval stuff. We could. We're doing pretty well already. 2017, we need to get some more output. Yeah. Alright, so how's this looking? Resistance? It's much more manageable now. So much more manageable. 45. 51 is still pretty bad, though. I'm not going to lie. Can't believe we had to deal with this. Um, why is this still going up? Probably com because of compliance. Yeah. How's this looking? Uh, defense? Sure, why not? Probably do anti and stuff, actually. Yeah, guns. I'm not going to touch that until we get all of our guns issues solved. We've already killed off over 600,000 of them, which is not bad, but still. What if you stopped doing that area and did the Caribbean instead? Uh, 
Oh, yeah. We might find some more stuff down here, too. Instead of doing the East Coast, let's do that one. Sada goes to C. There you go. I am that. They have soldiers over there, so hopefully we can raid them and do well. You'd hope so, at least. We're not seeing very much, though. We've only killed off... Oh, that's a lot of them that have died. Mass strikes? Are they really not trying to engage us? Regardless, we got to keep doing some more industry stuff first, and then some more air doctrine stuff. They're still trying to beat us up, which is very nice as well. Any other upgrades yet? He's a mountaineer or hills fighter. Mountaineer, mountaineer. So after this one, we'll probably go ahead and do emergency power convention. Supreme Leader Sanders' untimely death has sent shockwaves to the National People's Council. With each faction of the government searching for an opportunity to seize power, an emergency socialist party convention must be held as soon as possible. Improved exoskeletons? Nice. Come over here. We're done. We're pretty much all done with that stuff, too. So let's grab that. The funeral of Bernie Sanders. The Supreme Leader's coffin traveled via an ex uh, ex secure, extremely secure motorcade from Philadelphia to his first home in Vermont today, where the final stage of an internationally televised he state funeral is to take place. Along his journey, millions gather to weep and pay their respects to the respected, glorious Northern American leader, who for years had sacrificed everything to keep us safe from reactionary foreign invaders. Each day of his life, the threat of occupation was already terrifyingly present, but Bernie Sanders pulled the entire nation through until it could gain the strength necessary to defend itself. His devotion to public service has made it him the most popular American head of state in history, evident in the enormous crowds along each side of, ma of major freeways on which his motorcade traveled. In these dark times, it is now up to the National People's Council to elect a rightful successor to the Supreme Leader, and the people have certainly placed their faith in these few politicians to do the right thing. Farewell. Oh boy, that is not cool. They killed off Bernie Sanders. They killed off Bernie. That was one of the guys' comments. Feel the burn. Well, we're feeling that heartburn, apparently, but geez. Rocket Mountains. Oh, we are getting invaded. Look at that. They can't take out Miami. No, sir. No, no. And they can't break us over here either. We can't break through them either, but whatever. We don't talk about that. Actually, how are their plane situation then? They were really not making any more planes. Tuvula. Tuvala. Tuvalu is capitulated. Look at that. That's really nice. We did make some of our own planes. Yeah, look at that. We actually have a positive amount of planes now. Any planes we lose, we can sort of replace. Sort of port equipment's really bad, but guns are looking very good, as well as artillery. So, by not attacking, who knew that you could do well? All right, so you're done putting down resistance for now. Help us understand where all the enemy divisions be at up north, at least. That'd be nice. And since we can do that, let's do this one here, too. Nice. All right, so that's the case. Lower yourself by 10, so we can start filling out some more of this stuff, too. And especially some artillery. Even though artillery is looking pretty good as well right now. Wow, those are not looking good. Alright, so we've killed off about 900,000 of the communist Californians. And then for this one, I guess we got to go loyalists. The Sanders loyalists effectively presented themselves as rifle rulers of this union. The loyalist faction of the party, led by Sanders' right-hand man, Jeff, Jeff Mackler, has prevailed in a brief but fierce power struggle. This has not come as a surprise for many as they were the favorites to begin with. We have a lot of divisions. 55? That's still not enough. That's pretty good, I'd say. That's pretty darn good. And they keep attacking. I love it. Just keep attacking, guys. Make us a little bit stronger. Make yourself a little bit weaker. He's still learning. Which is good. Any partisan? Nice. Armor department? Very good, very good, very good. We actually might be able to start pushing out into them now. Maybe. Ogden? Alright. Nice. And then they'll probably attack us trying to get back into here, and... Emergency Party Convention. Every member of the National People's Council is convened in our capital to elect a successor to the Supreme Leader Sanders. There's obvious tension circling the room. As various... As, <coughs> excuse me, my apologies. Various factions shake their claim to cut through a political game. Despite minor leaders attempting to make themselves heard, there are three major factions that are all on course for victory. I'll be at some far greater small chances of securing the top job. The loyalist followers of Bernie Sanders from beginning to end are seen as convention favorites, with experience and political strength necessary to seize power. National syndicalists have united in a loose coalition to combat loyalists within the council and have been voicing strong opinions since before the convention even began. The unique form of syndicalism will certainly attract the more patriotic corners of American politics. Finally, the communist faction within a glorious socialist party is seen as a dark horse with immense funding from foreign nations and strong support below. We're going, unfortunately for them, have to go with them loyalists, because we love the loyalists. 56 day focus, very nice. How are we not in there yet? I know it's mountainous. I know it's rocky. But guys, come on. 
Nice, future automated management. Cool. Because I'm a rubber. Alright, so they've taken about a million casualties. Obviously, not enough yet. Oh. 2018 winter. Oh, 2018, look at that. This mod just flies by, man. It just flies by. Oh, did we lose? Not yet, not yet. And then, unprecedented stability. Calm transfer of power from Bernie Sanders to a member of his own factions paved his way for unprecedented political stability. After the peaceful transition of power between the late Sanders and the protege Mackler, the way has been paid for stability in America that has not known since the presidential election of 1956. Mackler is expected to adhere to the national Bolshevism as we know it, so there will be little doubt that he will get it done. I have no idea what it said there, but I'm going to assume what it said. Nice. Alright, we get some more soft attack. We gotta kill him harder. If we ain't killing him, are we really enjoying ourselves? Not really. 1v1, you ain't probably gonna win, but 2, 3v1, you're probably gonna do well. Nice. Alright, so we didn't win there, huh? Or did we win? I can't tell. Oh, I guess we did win, technically. What the heck? There you go. I wish we could attack right there, but fighting in the mountains without mountaineers is really bad. I mean, we could make... Oh, hello. Wow, kind of a front-wide attack, maybe a little bit. Y'all best not lose. Sanders would not like that. We're doing this for Sanders, remember? We're doing this for Sanders. And once they run out of manpower, I'm just going to go full steam ahead. Straight into their booties. Straight on in. We just need a little bit more rubber now. I wonder what their stockpile of weaponry is like. Let's take a look, guys. Let's take a look. They got a lot of guns. Other than that, not really too much else. Nice. They have very few planes left, which is very good, actually. Uh, I'll take you and you. Go right there. Actually, just throw everyone, all of them right here. Jeff Mackler becomes a dream leader. Loyal protege of the late Bernard Sanders and ally since her victory over the repulsive American Republic, Jeff Mackler has just been sworn in as supreme leader of the glorious and great American Union. His factions expected victory in the emergency party convention came as a shock to no one, and plans were already in motion to name him Sanders' official successor even before the chamber closed. This comes as a great relief to many members of the National People's Council who are worried that national syndicalist supremacy would bring an end to their beloved supreme leader's concrete vision, and even more unexpected communist victory in the elections would see an end to the Union as we know it. Mackler has been hailed as the next great savior of our nation, leaving his office to address hundreds of thousands in the streets below who are eager to hear the very first words from a relatively unknown but previously powerful politician. The age of Sanders will never be forgotten, but it's certainly over. But it is certainly over forever. Glory to the supreme leader. 3D manufacturing, nice. Stream online, thanks. Sign us up. Oh, we can do stuff here too. I forgot about this stuff. Huh? Um, anything else for in like in just pure infantry stuff? Who the heck is Jeff Mackler? Is he like some guy? Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, uh, that's not bad. But agency upgrade time won't really mean too much to us eventually. Um, is he just like a guy here that is a part of a, a real life socialist party or something? I'm not really sure. Administrative genius. That's not bad. Research speed, max factory in the state. That's not bad. Military donations. That's not terrible, but hmm. And then biased intellectual, huh? Hmm. Political power gain is not bad. I do like that description power though. But, let's come over here, or back... Ooh, silent lawyer. Or, no, that's not worth it. Operative Slavs, yeah, let's grab that one. But, unprecedented stability. I want to finish, finish these guys off before we end the episode, though. If possible. Oh, man, come on. Keep attacking us, Angela Davis. I wonder what conscription level they're at, actually. Any extra ships yet? Nice. These guys are all veterans, too, which is awesome. He's almost level 7, too. Jeez Louise, man. Jeez Louise. They're looking very not good. Very, very not good. Come on, keep attacking, keep attacking. Lose all your strength. You still might be able to win, though. Yep. That'll be good to kill off two more divisions. If we can move fast enough, come on, keep attacking, keep attacking, guys. You've only lost 1.27 million, that's all. More, 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 more. Oh, they might be mobilizing more. That'd be still not good for us. 
right after this, we're going to go do military loyalty. There are numerous or rumors that General Robinson is planning a coup against Mackler. It's time to inspect the National Security Council and the Chiefs of Staff to ensure the military is loyal to our new Supreme Leader. It's essential to crush all rumors of future military coup, de, uh, coup in the capital. Nice. More drift in national Bolshevism? Nice. Yeah, they just... I, the AI is very funny. Very funny. It tells the best jokes. Yeah, they must be mobilizing more. That's so stupid. Nah. We can't get anything done because they keep mobilizing more. Edward Rice. All oh, right. You go down to here. Because we already have one guy up here, so... This should give us a lot more intel on the enemies. I I'm kind of disappointed they stopped attacking, though. Uh, at least, they stopped trying to invade us, at least. It says you can win. I come tired of waiting, so just go ahead and see if we try to win. There you go. Nice. This one, not so nice. But there you go. Help them out. They're still attacking us, and now we're attacking them. Rail guns are nice. Just rail them as hard as you can. Ooh, woo. Um, no, two please why not? And air doctrine. I keep forgetting about that air doctrine. Logistics. We need logistics as well. Pocatello. Oh, that's going to be kind of difficult to take out. That's all right. Uh, Phoenix would be very good to get. Yeah. They've lost one and a half million. They have 40 divisions left, which is good to know. Oh, Pocatello's going to fall. Nice. Military loyalty is very, very good. Followed up with what? New economic plan? I think so. Sanders was a genius, but his untimely departure prevented him from finishing his economic reform. Mackler's aptly named new economic plan is supposed to fix these problems, but it's going to take time to fully achieve Sanders' vision of autarky. Mackler's simply named new economic plan shall bring us into greater economic prosperity. Nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing great, Stephen R. Lyons. And Peter Shoemaker, you look kind of funny. Hmm. Colin Powell, it's got nothing here. Nice. Blitzing through these guys. I love it. Yuma? Yuma, Arizona, huh? Never been. Probably never go. Probably not. But you never know. I think we made quite a few divisions here, not gonna lie. But in the meantime, I guess we could just start sending guys over here too. Anyone? Because we will get raided over here as well, so it's gonna suck. Nicholson Jr., huh? San Bernardino. San Bernardino. I don't know who that, that was. Huh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, doing a great job. They've lost four divisions now. 1.72 million. Angela Davis is a failure. A failure that we like to say that she fails. California's a big state. It's a big old state. Nice. We'll grab some of that too. I'm not really sure if we'll take out the USSR. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I just, they're so far away. They have so many allies. I'm not really sure if it's just worth taking them out. So, San Diego, thank you, thank you. How strong are they? I'm sure they, they're extremely strong. Oh, my gosh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know if we'll actually take them out, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, I just there's so many guys there. I don't know if we really want to. You spend so much time doing that. But obviously it's going to be at least one more episode because we've got to finish off taking in the rest of Me America by taking out Mexico and Canada and Alaska. So I do apologize for cutting this video a little shorter than normal just because I ran out of time today. At least the time of me making this. So it is what it is, you know. Sometimes you just run out of time. I wonder if we can force the attack. I don't think we can, though. We have too many thick boys here to do so. They've lost two more divisions. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, if you guys want to go there... And cut these guys off. That'd be really good. Or just r run them over. That's what I mean. New economic plan. Thank you very much. Advanced rubber plants. Very good. Gah! Air doctrine. Whatever. I've already started the other one, but whatever. Nice. Very good. Angela Davis is going to die. This is quite a, quite a bit longer than I thought it would, but eh, it kind of makes sense. This place kind of sucks to take out. Who even wants Portland, Oregon, and Seattle? Oh, Seattle's the capital. Oh, we got him! I guess it did give some good time to build us up a little bit more. There you go, nice. Can we core this stuff? Oh, a lot of territory. No, we cannot. I guess uh, Montana territory is first, but I guess that's going to be us end for us here today, my friends. Um, after that one, since we're technically at peace, uh, I'll probably finish this one off screen, and uh, yeah. Cool. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.